Hello everyone, it's Sam back and in this video I'm going to be showing the GPS performance um, in the real time against the Galaxy S2 and the Desire S. Basically I'm going to be using an application called GPS Stairs. And basically what this application does is it basically locks onto satellites and just shows you kind of like you know how you know how close or how many it can find, how many it locks onto etc. So we'll just find the application now. Which is there. And it's there. So we've got GPS turned off. So it's going to ask you to turn the, G the actual satellites on now. So I will say yes at the exact same time. And we'll just go back into the application. So now you basically you're going to see how long it takes each device to find satellites and lock onto them. So while it does that, Oh no, it's found them pretty quickly. It's found eight and locked onto eight straight away. It's the Galaxy S2, which is you know, pretty impressive. Where the Desirous, it seems to be struggling to find any, let alone lock onto them at the moment. Zoom in a little bit so you get a bit of a clearer view of those. So then we've now got nine out of ten, so it's found now it's locked, locked up, locked back on. It keeps bloody confusing me. It's got found 10 and locked on to 10. Desirous, unfortunately, is still trying to find a satellite, let alone lock onto it. Now, I have done this test um, obviously a few times so I know I could get an accurate reading. Um, the Desirous does normally find some satellites. Um, in this video here, for some reason, it's what well, I don't want to play a ball. But it normally only finds about four, maybe five. Now it locks onto them, but then oh, maybe finding some. Oh, we got one out of one. We got ten out of eleven on the Galaxy S2. But as I say, it normally finds about four or five. Locks onto them and normally keeps them. Um, the highest I've got was seven, but it didn't lock onto all seven. It locked onto six, then dropped back down to five. So, I mean, in this comparison here, I think it's pretty clear to say. The Galaxy S2 um, is the clear winner in terms of speed of actually finding them and locking onto them. So we've got five out of five, and this is normally what I get on this one. It almost stares at that. Basically, doesn't doesn't change much. Again, this isn't moving around. This is just being in my bedroom. Um, so you know, real world performance may be a bit different, but who knows? I will try to do another video of driving doing this up doing this actual test. Um, but I'm still trying to find somebody that will um, actually you know, trust me to, to do it in the car with them. <laughs> so this has been the GPS test of the Desire S and the Galaxy S2. If you like the video, don't forget to click um, like just down here and subscribe up there. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time. Cheers!